Hey my warriors, this is Captain Shreyas and I know all of you are very nervous and also probably excited or even eagerly waiting for the J2022 dates to be announced. And you're also wondering when are the registrations going to start and what about the eligibility criteria and what about the number of attempts? All of this in this video, so stay tuned till the end. First, let's talk about the J2022 dates. There are a lot of external factors affecting the dates. That's what you need to understand. Like I have been saying before, it's very likely that the J first attempt in 2022 should be conducted by February end or March first half. It's very likely it will be in the March first half, but it will be a safe bet to assume it is in the last week or the second last week of February so that we are well prepared. Now talking about the registrations, if you go by the trend, usually by this time, you should have the dates, you should have the timeline of when the registrations for every attempt is going to be open. But there is no such announcement now because the situation itself is different. Term 1 examination is going on. I'm pretty sure NTA is considering that they do not want to confuse, they don't want students to get nervous during their board exams. So it's very likely that they are waiting for the board exams to get over. Only after that, they will make the announcement and give the date sheet along with all the timelines for the JE registrations. So maybe a week or max two before the New Year's, most likely you should have the date sheet along with uh, all the details. Talking about eligibility, it's very unlikely that they are going to have the 75% eligibility criteria for the board examinations. Because so many students have faced so many hardships, so many schools were closed down, and I'm pretty sure even if a student has not faced difficulty, there will be definitely an uproar among the student community. Don't you think so? So most likely 75% eligibility should not be there. But let's wait for it. Then talking about the number of attempts. Last year we had four attempts and before that we used to have two attempts. Now the board, the education ministers and the entire institution wants to shift back to the original academic year where things used to start from January and you know the J advance used to get over by May. And all of these disruptions have happened because of COVID. Now, in order to shift it back, they have to make some planned and bold moves. So it's very likely that instead of four, you might have only three attempts for J mains so that J advance can be conducted early and the admissions for the colleges can start at a much earlier stage. Hopefully there will be four, but my guess is they might be having discussions in fact there were reports out in the media that they are considering even two attempts but that's very unlikely most likely they might settle down to three maybe four let's wait and watch but nevertheless there will be more than one attempt that means you have chances to improve that also means that you need to plan your days ahead and for that I have just made a strategy video. I'll pin up the link out here. Make sure you watch it. I have given all the timelines and the dates that you need to follow to ace the J means examination. Also remember, if you want test series, you want a crash course, you want the entire syllabus to be revised with your doubts being solved, and also you want the assignments, then you have the crash course for J with 90 sessions and 20 mock tests. Those details are also there in the description box below. Whatever happens, we are with you. I am with you will be coming up live as soon as the timelines and the dates are announced. So for that, you need to hit the subscribe button. And what do you think about all these four points that I have mentioned? Do let me know in the comment section below. I'll be reading all of those. Whatever happens, let's fight it together. Let's battle it together. All the best, my warriors. Hasta la vista. See you again.